fingering chart on the normal saxophone was F before. Later, F sharp was added. But with the help of Otissimo, you can go to more higher notes. So, Otissimo is the highest range in the saxophone. Alright, welcome to another tutorial class. I still remain your saxophone tutor, Mr. Ete Damilola, and this week I'll be teaching you Autissimo. If you are new on this channel or you are a returning subscriber, why don't you just please share and click the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime a tutorial class or uh, work is done in this channel. Autismo is very easy for you to blow as a saxophonist if only you are ready to follow the technique and the instruction. Uh, Autismo is from an Italian word which means the highest note in a woodwind instrument. And what is Autismo? Just like uh, the Italian classified as the highest note. That is playing the highest register on the saxophone. For example, the highest note, just like I said, on the saxophone was F sharp. But because of the help of autism, you can blow other notes and you sound more professional. So let's start because we said it's the highest register on the saxophone. And immediately we have three major register on the saxophone. Like in my previous class, I told you about the first uh, register where we blow the low C. Let's start. Let's play the chromatic scale. <laughs> The second register, you apply your octave key. Your octave key. That is your second register. Now, going to your third register, you, you cannot come down again. This is where you start applying your autism. Now, your C is the middle key here. Remember, in your autism, you must apply your octave key must be on you must press it in the chromatic scale using key c then c sharp not press anything the first one is this one you apply your octave key then c sharp from there we go to d here is your d Remember your octave key is always on. Here is your key D with your palm. Then you go to D sharp. That is this one up here. This is D. This is D sharp. Or you can decide to press the two together. It will still give you D sharp. Or anyone that you are comfortable with. Then from this year, we go to E. And for your E, you can decide to play it in... You, you can choose any technique. I will show you many techniques in which you can play E. This is your E. You can decide to play these two notes together as your E. Or, or you decide to go to your D flat. Oh, sorry. D, yeah, your D sharp. D sharp. That is this two key on autism and apply this key to it. That is your side key here. We still give you the same E. Or, or, or you can decide to use your alternate keys. One, the first key here, you jump the next one here, you go to the next, this one, and third. Instead of this, your hand goes up like this. E. Then from E we go to F. F you you can decide to play F by still sticking your hand with the three key. F just this. Okay, let's start from here. This is your alternate key. You go to F. This is E. You just remove this finger to go to F. E. F. The same thing apply here to 
your palm keys. Your palm keys. You press the three and you press this one. That's your F. Or you just press this key alone. That is from your uh, side key. That is for F. Or you press this and you hold this three key. This your palm key. That is the F. That is the F. Then from F, go to F sharp. F sharp, you bring your hand down here. One, two, three. That is your F sharp. Or you go to your F and apply this. Make sure your end broker is tight. That is the secret. And another thing that makes you to blow Optissimo easily, the harder the read, the more easier for you. The harder the read, the more easier for you. So if you are using 2.0, please, you can try with 2.5. If you are using 2.5, try with 3.0. If you are using 3.0, you can try with 3.5. The more, the more harder or the higher the read, the more easier it becomes for you. So we are on F sharp, and for now I I will strongly recommend you stop at F sharp because when we are going up to G and G sharp, you need to start applying overtone, overtone. But those ones start sounding like whistle. But for now, let's stop with this one. Get used with this for this week. Start from C. There you see to C sharp to D to D sharp to E. To F, to F sharp. Thank you. So you can see Altissimo is easy if only you're ready to follow the instruction. Also remember that the harder the read or the stronger the read, the more easier for you to upload the Altissimo. Thank you. If you find this video interesting, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free anyway. And uh, you can tell your own friend to tell their own friends to that. We are doing something nice in this journey. How to play the saxophone. And I want to thank all my subscribers, the returning subscribers, my viewers, you've been so wonderful. The journey has become much more easier for me because you're subscribing. Please stay subscribed and God bless you. See you in the next video.